It is so hard to move around this island because Puerto Rico is a tangled mess of shattered trees and down power lines and endless gas lines where the desperate can wait half a day under a blazing sun for a few precious gallons. In the rural highlands south of the capital, it looks like a bomb went off. Once lush green hillsides are now brown and broken by the power of Maria's wind. And it's up here where most of the 28,000 residents of Aguas Buenas okay. had no choice but to shelter in place and pray. As this camper was tossed like a toy, Diana and her family were huddled in their home across the street. How are you? How is, how is life? How are you surviving? I thank God I'm still alive, she tells me. I can't describe the storm. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's hard to tell from the road, but the, the back end of this house is built on concrete stilts driven into the hillside. So imagine the anxiety as uh, Maria really picked up strength. Diana inside, she's caring for her invalid husband. She's worried that the back end of the house, his bedroom is gonna just slide into the ravine. So she moves the whole family into the living room. They hear the crash of this power tower go down on the neighbor's roof. Water is coming in through the shutter. She's trying to keep it up. And at one point she tells me, they prepared to die together. Which is scarier, combat in Vietnam or Hurricane Maria? No, Hurricane is malo. The hurricane is worse. Miguel survived a combat tour in Cambodia. And now Diana worries about the last vial of his insulin at risk of spoiling in a powerless refrigerator. Yet with textbook hospitality, oh, mucho gracias. she takes the time to make us coffee. A few miles up the road, more kindness and much more misery. Here's a drone shot of this area before Maria, and here it is today. This is what a Category 4 hurricane will do to wood construction. The roof, who knows what happened to the roof. It's amazing the walls held the way they did. Trophies earned by Wilfredo's grandkids still stand in a room with no roof. He was released from prostate surgery the day the storm hit, holed up with his whole family in a local church, and they all survived. But now he has little left but his faith. How would you describe people's desperation? Are you seeing looting or are you seeing anger? There has been looting, the mayor of Aguas Buenas tells me. There have been robberies. And when it comes to the feelings of the people of this town, we are saddened because we're still looking for people. As an American, I wonder how do Puerto Ricans feel about being American territory in times like this? Do you, do you think America will come save you? Do you hope they will? Si. Yes, he tells me. President Donald Trump has approved a disaster declaration. We will move forward with the help of the United States. What they can give us, we'll receive with a lot of love. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. We're thinking of you. Bill Weir, CNN, and Aguas Buenas, Puerto Rico.